All right, Eliza. So you're Amanda. When you when you read the script, what about Amanda really drew you to that to the role? Um, I just loved how she's a she was a single mother living in Shanghai, and that she was fluent in the language. And I don't know. I just I thought that uh, I loved the relationship that she forms with uh, Daniel Henney's character Sam, and I just thought that it was a fun uh, script that moved along. Like I mean, after 12 pages, I was like, I want to do this. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just was a really fun. The it's hard to find female characters that actually seem real. Yeah. Like I feel like there's a lot of female characters out there that are either just the boring girlfriend or the boring wife. But this character had a lot going on, and I, I thought that was really cool. You talked about the chemistry with Daniel Henney's character. How did you two get chemistry so that the you know the love scenes and stuff seemed real? No, we hated each other the whole time. <laughs> um, it was funny. Uh, he's from Michigan, and I'm from New Hampshire, and we're both from small towns. So yeah. like immediately the first day we met we were just like I think we we kind of come from like carbon copies of each other's like background but just he's in the Midwest and I grew up in New England so um, we just got along immediately so it was pretty easy how difficult was it to have to learn Chinese because you had to speak fluent Chinese and you had to have the right accent and um, you know you're you're in China so how difficult was that learning or did you kind of just learn it second nature the hardest thing I've ever done I literally came I was driving from a French lesson because I'm taking French just I love French yeah. I was driving from a French lesson when my manager called me and was like so there's this movie and you have to learn Chinese and I'm like damn it wrong language <laughs> so um, yeah it was the hardest thing I've ever done now can you still speak some of it like do you still remember some of it or has it evaporated since filming what's funny is my hairstylist on my television show happy endings uh, is Chinese and she's from like she's from Beijing and so I can say a few things to her like if she's doing a lot with my hair I can go e -dian -dian, e -dian -dian. and so I just tell her a little and um, I can say some things and but not a lot stuck with me I've got French rolling around in there I mean you know like I got French English that's all I can handle right now I can handle right now and what was it like I know you know you probably didn't have as much freedom in, in China as you wanted to but how much of the you know the city did you get to take in how much of the just environment of China um, I walked around everywhere because I lived in New York for so long that I was like I wanted to walk everywhere pedestrians don't have the right of way in Shanghai just FYI FYI. So I had to kind of learn to uh, just always be watching my back. Yeah. Um, but I didn't get to travel as much as I wanted to. I never got to go to Beijing and I was really sad about that. But I'm hoping I'll go back. And then lastly, you know, you're doing so well on Happy Endings. Um, what, what has that been like for you? Just being on a regular series and how have you been enjoying it? It's been so fun. Um, it's a great, it's a great show, and it's a great cast of. I mean, I love the my castmates, but it's it's like I like going and doing movies where I can go to places like China, you know, the Paramount lot, and China. Me, but I love my job. I mean, I'm doing what I said I wanted to do when I was four years old, so I'll take it in whatever way it comes. And then lastly, uh, you know, your character kind of has some new stuff going on. You're selling cars now. You're very uptight. What what can we expect next from your character? Um, well, I just read that uh, Jane and Alex have another sister, so like someone just tweeted that at me, and I'm like, wait, what? And I got on the thing, I'm like, I got on the, the thing, meaning Google, and was like, what's what's happening? And I was like, oh, okay, I guess we're going to have a sister, so I guess that's happening, but I don't know anything about it. All right, so they got to watch the show, and they got to watch the film. Yes, yes.